The SS Kingston was built in Sunderland, England in 1871 and was described as an iron screw brigantine. She was in service for 10 years before running aground on Shag Rock. Now her rudder and prop sit on the sea floor at 50 feet. Because steam-powered fleets were becoming so important during this period of history, the 240-foot Kingston was commissioned to haul coal to many of the ports these steamships visited to refuel. After taking a day to clear the Suez Canal from the Mediterranean, Captain Thomas Cousins settled in to negotiate the narrow waters of the Straits of Suez. Because of the dangers here, he still wouldn't trust his first mate. As the hours passed, Cousins continued to make all the calculations and do the navigation himself. In addition, he failed to ask any of his officers to double check his calculations or their current bearings. Captain Cousins had been without sleep for two days before finally turning over the helm to his first mate, thinking everything would be easier now. Unfortunately, Cousins had steered the Kingston much further to the east than he expected and shortly thereafter the Kingston ran head-on into a reef. Besides the Kingston's double masts, she had been powered by a single coal-fired two-cylinder compound steam engine which could produce 130 horsepower and a top speed of 11 knots. For the next two days, Cousins assessed the state of his ship until water reached the engine room and all power was lost. That's when he ordered the crew to the lifeboats. He remained on board the Kingston until the last possible moment when it became quite clear she was down by the stern. This was when he finally abandoned ship and leapt onto a lifeboat himself. As he turned back, all he could do was watch as her stern gracefully slid to the sea floor where it rests upright today. The crew tied their boats to the masts that were still above the surface until they were rescued two hours later. An Egyptian salvage tug also showed up, but realizing the ship had already sunk, no salvage was made. Having been here for over 130 years, the Kingston is inundated with a large variety of marine life and splendid colors that keep divers interested in all she has to offer.